Let's learn how to play Lugia V-Star. With Twilight Masquerade, this deck just got a lot better. We got new attacker, the Wellspring Ogre Pawn, and the Blood Moon Ursaluna EX. A new supporter that you can activate your first turn. And of course, the new Legacy Energy. In this video, we're gonna go over the deck list, explanation of the deck, matchups, test hands, and gameplay from Pokemon TCG Live. All timestamp will be down below. Let's start off with the deck list. Three Lugia V, three Lugia V-Star, 160 HP Mancino, 270 HP Mancino, three Chinchinos, four Archeops, Two Luminion V, one Iron Hand EX, one Wellspring Mass Ogre Pawn EX, one Blood Moon Ursaluna EX, three Bosses Order, one Thornton, one Jock, two Ionos, two Professor Research, two Carmine, one Serena, four Ultra Ball, four Capturing Aroma, two Great Ball, one Mesagosa, four Gift Energy, four Miss Energy, four Jet Energy, three Double Turbo, and one Legacy Energy. And here's the overview of the deck. Now let's go over every single card and why it's in here. The main goal of this deck is to get Archeops into the discard pile. Then you use Lugia V-Star's ability to summon them onto the bench. And Archeops is how you're gonna power up your Pokemon. Lugia V-Star is one of your attackers. Before energy, it does 220 damage. And you can also discard a stadium in play. Chinchinos, which evolves from Minchino, is one of your primary attackers. The second attack special roll does 70 damage for each special energy card attached to the Pokemon. This little guy can do a lot of damage for a one prizer. Archeops is only here for the ability to accelerate energy into your Pokemon. Sometimes if you really need to, you can also use it to attack. Next we have Blood Moon Ursaluna EX. For 5 energy, this attack does 240 damage. But with his ability, his attack costs 1 less for each prize card your opponent has taken. So if your opponent only has 1 prize left, this Pokemon can attack for free. That is insanely broken late game. Next we have Luminion V. You mainly use him for his effect, which should let you get a support from your deck into your hand. But with the new Legacy Energy, we can now attack with him. With Legacy Energy and 2 other energy, Luminion can do 120 damage and shuffle itself back an all attached card into your deck. Which means you can use Luminion over and over again and it won't be stuck in your bench. And once again with Legacy Energy, we can now attack with Iron Hands and Wellspring Ogre Pond. We can use Iron Hands second attack amp you very much. That does 120 damage, and if you knock out your opponent's Pokemon, you can take an extra prize. This is really good against single prize decks. For Wellspring Mass Ogre Pond, his second attack Torrential Pump does 100 damage, plus if you shuffle the 3 energy attached to the Pokemon into the deck, you can also do 120 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. This card is really good because you can knock out multiple Pokemon and shuffle the energy back into your deck. Now let's talk about the Supporter. Boss Order is there to switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon to the active. Iono lets you draw and disrupt your opponent. Jock lets you get two evolution Pokemon. Jock and Ultra Ball really go well together. You can use Jock to get two Archeops, then discard both of them with Ultra Ball. Carmen and Research is there to discard your hand and draw more cards. Carmen only lets you draw five, and Research lets you draw seven. This card is really good because going first, you're not allowed to use a supporter, except for Carmen. Serena is there to discard cards and draw more cards. Ari has a second effect, which lets you switch your opponent's bench Pokemon V to the active. Once again, this is another good card to put Archeops into the discard pile. Lastly, we have Thornton. Thornton lets you switch one basic Pokemon in play with one in the discard pile. For example, you have Iron Hands EX in the discard pile, you can switch it with the Luminion in play. It keeps all the energy that is already in play. And if your Luminion is already in play for one turn, you can switch it out with a Mancino. Then you can evolve it to Chinchino since it's already been played for one turn. On to the items. Basically, all your items are ways to get Pokemon from your deck to your hand. Ultra Ball, you have to discard two in order to get a Pokemon from your deck to your hand. Great Ball, you look at the top seven cards and you choose one Pokemon. Capturing Aroma, you flip a coin. If it's head, you get an evolution Pokemon. If tails, you get a basic. For the stadium, we have Mesagoza. Once per turn, you can flip a coin, and if it hits heads, you can choose any Pokemon from your deck and add it to your hand. On to the energy. Double Turbo counts as 2 energy, but whatever Pokemon it is attached to, it does 20 less damage. Jet Energy, if you attach it from your hand to one of your bench Pokemon, you can move it to the active. Miss Energy protects you from effects of attacks used by your opponent's Pokemon. Gift Energy lets you draw until you have 7 if your Pokemon is knocked out. And lastly, Legacy Energy. It provides you with any type of energy, but it only provides 1 energy at a time. Plus, if your Pokemon gets knocked out, your opponent takes 1 less prize. This card is actually so broken for this deck. Let's talk about the matchups. This deck is really simple. Once again, the main goal of this deck is to put Archeops into the discard pile and use Lugia V-Star's ability to summon back into the bench. Then you use Archeops ability to power whatever Pokemon you need in certain situations. So Chinchino is really good to knock out big beefy Pokemon. In the current meta, those Pokemon include Raging Bolt EX, Dragapult EX, Charizard EX, Greninja EX, Blissey EX, Dialga, Regidrago, I think you get the idea. Just any big Pokemon you want to use to Chino. Next, we have the Wellspring Ogre Pond EX. If your opponent doesn't have Mana Feed, this is a perfect Pokemon to attack with. Iron Hand EX is really good into single prize deck. In the current meta, that includes any form of Lost Box, Gardevoir, and even Festival Grounds deck. If you have any questions about this deck, let me know in the comments. Let's do two test hand, one for going first and one for going second. For this deck, you always want to go first because you want to set up your Archaeops as fast as possible. All right, let's shuffle our deck. This is a going first test hand. We're going to offer our opponent if they want to cut. And then let's draw seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see if we have a basic Pokemon, which we do. I'll most likely put up this Minchino. Not, a, not the best starting hand, but let's see what we can do with it. Let's do 
two, six, six prizes. And let's flip our card. We draw one for a turn. We have one Archaeops in hand. That is not too bad. I think what we can do here is use Luminion to activate his effect. And we will most likely get Carmine since we are going first. Let's get a Carmine. Hopefully we didn't prize it. Let's see if we have our other ones since we're running two. We do have it. Let's get the full art. So we get the full art Carmine. We will shuffle our hand, or I mean our deck. Shuffle a few times. And then we offer our opponent if they want to cut. Before we use Carmine, let's at least put the gift energy in to our Mancino. And then we can use Carmine to get her out of our hand because we already have one Archaeops. And right now we really need a Lugia V and maybe like another Archaeops. So we're going to draw till we have five. So one, two, three, four, five. We have another Archaeops in hand. That is not too bad. Let's use Scrape Ball. We really need that uh, Lugia V at the moment. So let's look at the top seven of our deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No Pokemon. We are not in luck. And unfortunately, that might be it for our turn. That's all we could really do for our first turn. All right, now we are going second. We're gonna shuffle our deck. We did not have the best starting uh, going first hand. We didn't even get a Lugia V down, but let's see if we can do better if we go second. But usually we wanna go first once again, like I said. So let's offer our opponent if they wanna cut. Draw our seven, three, four, five, six, seven. See, we have a basic Pokemon, which we do, which will be our Wellspring Ogre Pond EX. Let's do our six prize cards. And let's see if we can top deck something right now. So we flip our Pokemon. Once again, we are going second. Draw. We got Ultra Ball, which is not bad since we already have one Archaeops. Let's do... All we could really do is Great Ball. That will look at the top seven. One. That's, there's one, but let's do all seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're definitely going to get this Archaeops. And we're supposed to shuffle, but we're going to go straight back into the deck with the Ultra Ball. We're going to get rid of both Archaeops. This is literally the ideal hand you would want. So we get Ultra Ball for a Lugia V. Let's shuffle, 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 shuffle. We can cut. And I think... Since we started with the Wellspring Ogre Pond, we would want to put at least the Gift Energy onto it. So if it gets knocked out, at least we can draw more cards. And then we can all use we can also use his first attack, Sob, which does 20 damage, and your opponent's Pokemon cannot retreat. And that is it for our turn. And hopefully next turn we hit a Lugia V-Star that we can summon our Archaeops and start attacking. Let's check out the game on Pokemon TCG Live. All right, starting off, we're gonna choose heads. And if it lands, which it did, we'll be going first. Because we always want to go first. So this, I am re recording th this after I play the game already, but I kind of forgot what happened. So I'm gonna go through exactly what's going on and why I'm choosing what I'm choosing. So starting off, we have one Archaeops in hand, so that's really good. And it seems like we're going against Stragapult, which I would say is a 50-50 matchup, depending if we set up faster than them, and then we just price trade. If they attack with Dragapult EX, we just try to attack with Chinchino, and they have to find a way to boss up a two-prizer, if you have any two-prize stuff. And that Mulligan was amazing, because we have two Archaeops in hand with the Ultra Ball, which is exactly what we needed. Hit the Ultra Ball, put the two Archaeops, probably get a Minchino. Get the 70 HP one since we're going against Archaeops. Okay, just use Capture and Roma, try to set up more Minchinos. Perfect, we got a Tail. Definitely get another Minchino. And it seems like I prized my other two, that's why I'm looking right now. 
Then I believe I should just attach and then save the other capturing Roma to try to get Lugia V Star next turn. So they start out with a mana fee. I'm guessing they'll probably hopefully get Buddy Poffin to set up their Dragapult or their Dreepies. Wonder what version this is. Will it be Charizard, Lost Box? And they conceded. We won. That's a GG. I think that's a little too short, so maybe we'll do another gameplay. On to game two. We're gonna choose heads again. Hopefully it lands and we're gonna choose to go first. And it did. Once again, we always wanna go first so we can get Archeops in the discard and try to evolve to look at V-Star turn two. This is not a good hand. We have Lugia V, which is fine. We have no way to get Archeops into the discard pile. But I think the least we can do is just set up the Minchino and attach an energy. We're going against Reggie Draco V. Not too bad. They have a slow start too. Okay, Ultra Ball. If we hit heads here, we get a Archeops. And that is perfect. Definitely get the Archeops here. I just don't remember what I'm going to discard. I think I'm going to get rid of the double turbo. Yep. We only run three double turbo, but double turbo is not necessary that much sometimes. I'm trying to figure out what I want here. I think. Right now, I'm thinking either. An okay, so I got the Archeops, so that way, next turn, if I don't hit anything, I would just read the win the other Archeops. So they started with Regidrickle V. Wonder if this is the grass or pond version or just a straight Reggie Draco with uh, with Gardena. They get a second squawk. Okay. Interesting choice. Conceal cards, discard energy to draw two. Uh, there. It might be just straight up Reggie Draco. Got rid of two double. What? But I guess if the you ready to V Star's ability, you can bring it back. I'm not exactly sure why I did this. I guess regardless, you're gonna squawk. So might as well just do it. Imagine if he prize his last V Star. That'd be crazy. Okay. Will it be an Ogre Pond or will it be just another Reggie Draco? Okay, so it's straight Reggie Draco, which I, I prefer to play that version better with the Gardena just because I feel like the Grass Ogre Pond is more consistent, but it's such a liability. They can just boss up the, the Grass Ogre Pond. Probably gonna try to get rid of more Dragon types into the discard pile. What will they get rid of? It's kind of crazy that they kind of missed their Gardena. They activated, but they didn't put any energy into the bench Pokemon. Straight Richard Draco V. That's all their Reggie Draco, no? Okay, so I evolve. I think I would Palky stop here, no? If I hit the uh, Ultra Ball or even just Archeops in the discard. And we did. But the question is, what do we give up? We just give up the two give these star, right? Yeah, I just get another one. There it is. I think I'm trying to figure out a way. I think I would attack here with Chinchino since I put the double turtle down. Which means it's only doing 200, so I can't completely knock out the Reggie Draco V, which I really want to. So I feel like I'm gonna power up the Chinchinos and just retreat since I already have double turbo in there. So we need exactly four energy. Each energy does 70 damage. So three only does 210. Power up 
little chinchino. And then we attack. This is bad if I don't have another Minchino setup. And he's able to knock out the chinchino. But I guess we can find a way to boss up the squawk, which we have Lumini on B, which that's a good sign. What can he do? He can Gardena, which he just focus stop again. That's the second time that Gardena hits the discard pile from Poke Stop. He really needs something. Yep, he needs the V Star. Is there a way for him to get another draw? Does he have energy in hand? Rating turn instability? His only V-Star. Oh, he can use his the V-Star ability to... Yeah, he's gonna discard six cards. And then he gets to choose two cards from the discard pile. Which I believe he was just gonna choose Gardena and probably a Grass Energy. But he needs two Grass Energy. He'll probably draw into it. And he also needs a Switch which is discarded as you can see over there oh that's smart okay superior energy and then you gardena but you still need to find a way to switch they run like three switches i believe if they hit this on the they have two more cards two more chance if they hit the switch they pass their turn, and all we need to do is put the minion down. Oh, we didn't even have to, and yeah, that's a GG. I hope you guys see the power of Lugia V Star. And that is it for this Lugia deck guide. Stay tuned for more. But in the meantime, check out my other videos right over here. If you guys enjoyed this one, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. If you guys are new here, please hit that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 50,000 subscriber. Let's go! Thank you.